as you can see, my spaghetti squash is maybe done. At least that middle vine, the one with the, there's a big one on there. There's a couple, a couple of nice sized spaghetti squashes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna harvest uh, uh, the one on the very far end. It's orange. It's a different variety, and I don't remember what it was, but uh, anyway, it's on the far end. I'm gonna harvest that one, and uh, maybe the larger uh, of the spaghetti squashes on the middle vine. I had to um, find my cutters. It's quite comfortable in here. Today it's probably in the high 80s outside. It's not quite 90 yet in the morning and uh, the humidity's come way down outside so when it's down it feels really good in here. It's not a bad spaghetti squad. Get my wife to fix it. Maybe we'll put that on the video. I'll show you how you tell these things are ripe or ready. You see those little tendrils up there? They're brown. When they're dry, that thing's ready. So that one's coming too. Let's get back where you can see it. I'm also going to harvest a bunch of tomatoes today, but I wanted to show you the size of these bell peppers in my hydroponics over here. Let me uh, see if I can get you closer. I hope you can see the size of these things, but that is a monster. Look at the size of those monsters. There's not a whole lot on there, uh, but they're kind of digging that Dutch bucket set up, along with the rest of my peppers. Okay, tubers. I got yellow squash, a couple of spaghetti squash. Uh, those up there are serrano peppers. I have one Hungarian wax, uh, jalapeno, these are a cool variety of a jalapeno. They're 
real mild. They're kind of like a cross between a bell and a jalapeno. I don't know. The hybrid. I tried it this week. Uh, that is a <laughs> that is one okra that I'm gonna have to chop toss because it's too big. Bunch of tomatoes, some red bell, and some for the kitty cats. We got some catnip. That's it. That's all we got for today. Another thing I wanted to tell you was I had to end up supplementing my aquaponic system with a, a couple of micronutrients and uh, iron. I uh, added some potassium, I'm sorry, some potash and some magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salt, and uh, some chelated iron. At uh, suggestion of Lee's aquaponics, uh, he's been doing this for a long time. He said it looked like I was fit, uh, deficient uh, on several of those elements, so I put them in and we'll see what happens. I did look after he told me that, and, and if you look at my, let me just take you up here. If you look at these leaves, that'll tell you right there that I am deficient in, I think it's the uh, potash. So um, that should help that out. And the iron and the potash should help those strawberries out as well. Everything's a little pale looking. Except for the lettuces. And that, that's just doing beautifully. That's all I have for today. God bless. Go plant some dirt. Some fish water. Some nutrient solution. Whatever it takes to grow something. We'll see you next time.